in the States. Going solo. Beautiful wife is prepping for work. I thought she was off today. I thought wrong. So, we just left the house and we're going to take a longer route. I normally keep myself within the confines of the community, but we're going to go venture off and see what else there is to see outside the boundaries of our little village. Shall we? We're going to go that way. Oh, taking a right turn on Gibson off the Boulder Highway. This traffic is rather uh, quick. Has a propensity for scaring folks on two feet like myself. But it'll still be a long walkabout. And I'm about to pass by my youngest daughter's first job ever. Off in the distance is Cowabunga Bay Water Park. This is where my youngest daughter first worked. This was her first job ever. She worked at the concession stand. Not exactly a thrilling job, and it certainly didn't last long. She moved on to bigger and better things, working at a bakery shop for a couple of years. That didn't pan out well. And finally made the jump to my area at the Strat, where she finds herself as a supervisor with our ticketing department. Bummer, it took so long to get there, but it is what it is. At any rate, this water park opened up several years back. It's remained busy. They did have an issue involving an unfortunate drowning. I think that issue was finally resolved in the courts it is still fully operational I'm not sure if they're open today and I'm not sure when they close with the season they normally open at 11 and uh, when they do it's usually packed because if you're familiar with Nevada weather it is hot Off in the distance is Henderson Medical Plaza, and off to its left is the Henderson Hospital proper. This place opened up on October 31st of 2016. I remember that date oh so well, because my late father was one of their first customers that day. He used to come to his colon cancer. We had to rush him over here on Halloween day while I was already dressed as Spock from Star Trek. Stayed with him in the ER all day until uh, he stabilized. And then me and the wife had dinner later on that evening. It was not a good day. And re regrettably, a little over six months down the road, he was gone. Colon cancer took him out. He was not long for the world. Ever since my mother passed some three years prior, he really didn't want to stick around and be a burden. Although he wasn't a burden to us. In fact, uh, myself, the wife, and the kids, we enjoyed his company. He stayed with me for the remainder of his uh, years. And I thought we had fun. I was hoping to bring him to the Philippines so he could enjoy life beyond the boundaries of the US. Regrettably, that never came. Along with the hospital, they have a few other amenities, namely Starbucks. And there's also a dentist shop here. I believe this whole area is slated to be more or less a, a health venue, where the hospital is the anchor for everything else. Way off in the distance is the Las Vegas Athletic Club, which is a chain of um, fitness gymnasiums. Offering everything from cardio to weights to my favorite saunas Interstate 95 It is a Sunday so traffic's rather light 
But this is the route me and beautiful wife take to work. Off in the distance between the power lines, you can see my work site, the Strat. Power. So it makes the world go round. And we're about a mile and a half into the walk. And uh, the heat isn't that bad today, thank goodness. And it's certainly not sticky like back in Luke Bond. So this should be a pretty good day for a walk. And as the days progress, the weather will slowly but surely get cooler and cooler. Not to the point of snow, that's rare in these parts. But it can get a bit chilly, forcing you to wear thicker clothes, which I like. Anywho, let's continue, shall we? We've just broken the two mile mark. And as it is, I thought I'd illustrate something thereby. These townhouses, or at least one of them, once belonged to my uncle on my mother's side, who regrettably passed on earlier this year. He lived not too far from the house, as it turned out. And while the old man was still alive, they, they both had the opportunity to uh, reconnect. He was a good man. And as a side note, he was the best man at my parents' wedding. Uncle Chiavi, Wilhelm. The last of my mother's side of the siblings to pass away. Here we have some uh, services, automotive in nature. As we continue on our walkabout, as well as across the street. Americans love their cars. Helps you traverse long distances with ease and convenience. I believe this is a campus. Not sure what age the uh, pupils are. It's rather small, all things considered. And it's on the uh, latter part of this recreational area, which I'm about to bypass here shortly. And here is the recreational area. You've got several fields to choose from. This was dedicated to soccer. And further down the distance, you got more soccer fields and a baseball park. And then the housing units begin. And off to the right, as we pass by eventually, you'll see a large non-denominational Christian church. They take their water schedule very seriously out here. Because water is basically gold out in the desert. Again, here's that soccer field. That spills off in the distance. More recreational fields. And way in the back, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that large structure back there, that's the church. It is big. We paid a visit there once for a service for a friend, a mutual friend of ours who crossed over. It's a really nice church. Large parishioner, a number of parishioners that is. Again, I think they're non-denominational. So, you know, anybody who believes in the Christian faith, I suppose, could just jump in. And even if you don't believe in anything, you can come on in. It's their job to convince you otherwise. That's what this place is called. And yes, we are on Russell Road, heading back towards Boulder Highway. The grounds here are well kept, as the city ensures it. During the fall, all these leaves will turn brown and come crashing on the floor, causing quite a bit of a mess. Of which, the cars passing by will push the leaves properly towards here, and then the good folks who 
tend to the lawn and whatnot, they come out and pick everything up and make it look pretty again. At that point, the trees look pretty much like these branches. Bare. We live in the desert. That means it takes a lot of water to keep everything green. Unlike Luke Bond, that comes naturally with the weather. Our natural weather is barren. There are hints of rain now and then. They are rare. But I love living here. It's convenient. Everything's nearby. Work is not too far away. And we got roadways to get us here quickly. And for the most part, people are nice. Unfortunately, that's not true of everyone. Here's that baseball field I mentioned earlier. It's nice. Decent size. Once again, well kept. A lot of softball and baseball players who like to come out here. Teams, that is. Not so much today, though. We're heading into the home stretch, but before we actually make our way from Russell Road back on Boulder Highway, thought I'd stop by and say, uh, well, not so much say hello, but just stop by. Our favorite Filipino joint not too far from the house. So here in this small little strip mall of sorts, is where the wife and I find ourselves dining in quite often. They got great pork barbecue. Wife and I did a vlog many, many years ago inside the restaurant area of that establishment. It was during my early days when I was trying to figure out how to edit videos, but they still serve the same good food. Got a whole bunch of squad cars over there at the gas station. Yeah, they must have really ticked them off today. But I love those guys. We always call them in when we have issues over at the Strat. Alrighty then. Back on Boulder Highway. For the last stretch until I get to the house. Hopefully before 9.30. So I can get some vacuuming done upstairs. Because it is Sunday and that's when I usually clean the house up. Then take beautiful wife to work, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. For a time, this was one of my favorite places to stop by. When uh, the vehicle that uh, my youngest one now operates, which belongs to the wife technically, was having some issues. And after getting quotes for repairs from the dealership, it was apparent that I needed to uh, take care of things on my own. So these folks help quite a bit as far as parts are concerned. And they're just down the street from the house. I should mention that I also buy parts online, which is a lot cheaper than AutoZone. But for quick fixes, well you, you have to get it done right away. And you have no time to wait for the mail. AutoZone's the way to go. My late father, you see here. Sometimes after you come home from work at the airport, he used to grab a burger or so. I've never been myself, but I guess it, the burgers must have been good because uh, he's very he was very picky when it came to food. And right over here, there used to be a wrestling school, a professional wrestling school, that also uh, televised matches of some of their more progressive students and independent wrestlers. Uh, that was years back. They've since moved on to another spot. I forgot what the name is, and I'm not sure if they're still in existence, but I never got around to actually visiting this place to watch any live events. But they used to have it on TV on the wee hours of the morning. They used to actually advertise the school, too. I think the founder used to wrestle with uh, the McMahon Company over at WWE. He used to be a police officer, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, the North Las Vegas County. Rico was his character name, if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, they're not here. I blew an opportunity. Oh, well. Ooh. That was a long 90 minutes or four miles and some change. Got back just in the nick of time to commence the vacuuming.
This handle shouldn't be doing this. So it looks like, in an effort to fix that leak, I'm gonna have to replace its cartridge. Last time I did this, it took forever. Let's hope this time it'll be a bit easier. But first, I have to replace this fella. Which is back there behind the juices. So I'm gonna take the other one. And let it drain in here for a bit before I toss it. Take the new one, take off the top. And then find the mark. And it locks in place just like so. And my hand's messy because I didn't let the ink dry. But MAR means I remove it next March. That was easy. Gotta unlock this. And reset this fella. Bingo. All good. Well, with some difficulty, I managed to get the old cartridge out. And now I've set the new cartridge. We should be ready to go. It's got brand new everything. Hopefully this doesn't screw up. Good to go. Put in the new cartridge. Make sure everything was tightened down, turn on the water, no leaks. And I turn on the handle to make sure hot was on the right side, and it is. And then I gave the, the tub a good scrubbing because uh, the leak caused a bit of a uh, water staining. And I decided to clean the rest of the tub up, so we're good to go now. Let's see what we could do for dinner. Mm, what's this? Uh, I don't know what that is. Probably not ours, probably Brits. I wish she was mining the house. Oh, this looks right. Cool fowl chicken. Yum, 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 yum. Teriyaki chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Another good one, which I had recently. Chicken chow mein. There's another teriyaki down there. Put this bag of this. Teriyaki. Coming. Kung Pao. Uh, chocolate chip waffles. What's this? Yaki Soba. Mm. That looks interesting. We'll need rice. Beautiful wife's favorite. She likes to sometimes start her day off with some frozen mangoes thawed. We'll put you over here with the other one. Now what's down here? What's left of Texas toast? Beautiful wife brought back from Mokban. And that's about it. What's down there? Down yonder. Don't know, don't care. Well, those are options, I guess. But I have a feeling we're going to go eat out tonight. Well, before I pick the wife up, we got to feed that one. And this one, who thinks she's ready to eat now. Not just thinking. Let's see me inhaling her food. And stinky blinky. She's creasing like a cabeza. Okay, let me get your food. Because you're not used to this bowl, so here we go. This is what you're used to. 
on the ground. Hey, hey, hey. At least she eats it all that way. That one already done, as always. She is consistent. And this one eventually gonna get done off the floor. Two more, Stinky. Two more. Ta-da! Good girl. Good girl. Good, 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 good. Good girl. You're still chewing yours. Need the body. They don't really get along, but they're not biting each other, and that's a good thing. Beautiful wife got off work and mentioned she wanted to have Mexican tonight. So she's checking to see is one of our favorite romps as far as Mexican cuisine is open for two. It's one of our favorite Mexican restaurants and it's on the strip and right next to where the net works. Fortunately, there's hardly anyone here. Usually this place is packed on the weekend. Weird, but good for us. Can't wait to see that guacamole bowl come this way with this chips and salsa. Oh. Freshly made. And now we're just waiting on chips so we can uh, enjoy this. Ooh, if only you could smell this. It's so good, we needed another basket of these. <laughs> Very little to do with the dishwasher. Still got chips to spare. Just waiting on the main courses to come in. What did you get? Beautiful wife has uh, what? Chicken? Chiquitos. I get my usual chicken enchilada. This is going to be right here once, once it gets here. I overheard one of the servers mention that the uh, kitchen is uh, a little behind on orders. So normally our dishes would be here by now. But it sounds like they're understaffed for whatever reason. Chicken taquitos. They're so cute. But manly meal. Chicken enchiladas. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. The Spanish rice. The pico de gallo, refried black beans. Oh, the chicken! Oh, I'm, I gotta eat.
clean plate club in stereo. Uh, what a great meal. And the great thing about this place is that the, the price point is reasonable considering you're on the strip. The food is delicious. It's not a great big menu, but it uh, doesn't need to be. Oh yeah. yeah, I highly recommend you get reservations before you actually come here. We got lucky tonight, but uh, I've seen other folks who show up. The place is packed. They don't have reservations. They sit outside for a long time and might get seated. So make reservations online. Like I said, very reasonably placed. What more is there to tell? Chamomile tea with honey and ginger powder. Perfect for the night's end. See you on the next vlog. Later.